LEGO has created a lot of unique parts. If you count every type of brick, duplo piece, technic pin, and minifigure accessory, LEGO has made more than 55,000 unique parts throughout its history. However, despite this, LEGO seems to be obsessed with a small handful of these pieces, and it's getting a bit ridiculous. So let's explore more of LEGO's weirdest obsessions, including one that I bet you've completely overlooked. Let's kick things off by shedding a little light on this entire situation, and there's no better way to do so than with a candle. First introduced in 2018, this piece originally appeared in three Harry Potter sets, Aragog's Lair, the Hogwarts Great Hall, and the Hogwarts Whomping Willow. The next year, this piece popped up in seven more sets, but always as a candle, and always paired with this candle flame piece. In 2020 though, LEGO really turned up the heat by releasing this piece in an astounding 30 different sets across themes from Harry Potter, to Hidden Side, to LEGO Pirates, and much more. While nearly all of these use this piece as an actual candle, a few dared to do something a little different. Both the Dubai Skyline and Aurora's Forest Cottage sets use this piece in creative ways. The Dubai build made use of 28 of these pieces as part of the facade of Dubai's extremely expensive seven-star hotel, while the Disney build used a single one as the handle for the wheel. Over the next few years, LEGO designers leaned heavily into this part, and it appeared in 40 more sets in 2021, 51 sets in 2021, and a jaw-dropping 83 different LEGO sets in 2023. The exponential growth in this piece's popularity is truly astounding. As of making this video, we're only about halfway through 2024, and this piece has already appeared in 48 different sets this year. With all of these pieces going around and being included in these sets, it shouldn't come as any surprise that this candle piece has been released in an ever-increasing range of colors, and is now available in 16 different hues. That's a lot of options, which reminds me of all the the options provided by Opera. Opera is a completely free browser that has so many cool features which help me stay organized when creating these videos. A new feature they have is Aria, the AI browser. Not only is Aria super helpful for answering questions, but it's also pretty funny. You can even ask Aria for some Lego jokes, like this one. Opera is packed with full of amazing features and a sleek interface. It even has a VPN built right in, so no need for any extra downloads or browser extensions. Opera's built-in VPN means that you can stay safe while browsing online, which is really nice. But here's my favorite feature Opera has to offer, Tab Islands. When I'm working on a video like today's, I tend to have a billion different tabs open, and sometimes it can be pretty messy. Tab Islands let me group related tabs together, keeping my screen neat and my brain calm. And in one click, when you don't need them, they're out of the way, helping you stay focused. Did I mention that it's super easy to download Opera for yourself? Click the first link in the description and download Opera today. But now back to the video, because it has become more and more common for this part to appear as something other than an actual candle. They've been used in silver to represent the internal components of the amp in the Fender Stratocaster set, as well as in green to represent stems and foliage in a range of Lego plants, such as this bamboo shoot. And they've even come in pearl gold in sets like the Disney Castle and Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon in multiple locations behind the dragon heads. Now, white is the most common color, appearing in 109 sets since 2018, but these pearl gold candles are surprisingly the second most common color, appearing in 35 sets so so far. Another interesting usage for this piece is on this buildable character for legs in blue from 2020's Rainbow Caterbus set. Of course, as nice as candles are, they're only one part to a proper table setting. What good is ambient mood lighting without some tasty food to go along with it? LEGO sure does love putting food into their sets, with cherries, bananas, and carrots all appearing in countless different LEGO sets. While these pieces are sometimes used as specific details for the set rather than the food itself, there is one food item that, as as far as I can tell, has really only ever been used for its original purpose. The turkey drumstick is kind of an odd piece. First introduced in 1997 in the kitchen and kitchen accessories packs, this original version has appeared in a total of 115 sets, ranging from Star Wars to Pharaoh's Quest and everything in between. But there's a small detail here that's a bit of a head scratcher. In 2010, LEGO released the first wave of collectible minifigures, and among them was this zombie. An overall great minifigure, but there was something ever so slightly off about it, the drumstick. Although this piece was the same dark orange color, eagle-eyed fans noticed something was a little bit off. The drumstick that had been in use for over a decade was exactly 20 millimeters long, but this one was just a bit longer, at 23 millimeters. This slightly modified version only appeared one more time as part of the classic pirate set in 2013, before reverting back to the shorter drumstick. So why did LEGO modify this piece and then only use it twice over 
three years. Well, what's even weirder is that that's not the end of this story. In 2014, LEGO fans that opened the Outback Cabin set or the Shrimp Shack Attack set spotted yet another new version of this delicious piece. LEGO once again went back to the longer 23mm length, but there was something else different here. The hole on the back. While the first two versions of this piece had a round hole, which you can see on the two sides of this image, the newer model, pictured in the middle here, had an oval hole, allowing it to fit onto a few more different types of bricks. This is the version that's still used to this day, but in total there have been 187 unique sets that contain at least one of these drumstick pieces, which is quite a lot. However, the drumstick isn't the only LEGO food piece to get a mysterious redesign. I talked in a previous video about how obsessed LEGO is with carrots, and it seems like this isn't slowing down anytime soon. Check this out. A user over on Reddit posted this picture, showing two seemingly identical carrot pieces with the only noticeable difference being the price. If you look very closely though, you can see that the one on the right has a slightly longer peg on the end and a very slightly different texture. Unlike the drumsticks, which are categorized as three separate distinct pieces with their own pages on BrickLink, these two carrots share a single listing and seem to be completely interchangeable. But why does one cost 20% more than the other? I guess it must be organic. On another note, just look at all the colors that this carrot piece has appeared in. There have been seven different colors of carrots spread across 252 sets since 1999. That's a lot of Lego carrots. But there's another type of carrot that does have its own special list the minifigure snowman Carrot Nose. Packaged with the Series 23 snowman, this one is made of flexible rubber and has, so far, only appeared in this one package or one minifigure. Now, staying on the topic of food for a little bit longer, there's one meal that LEGO just can't seem to get enough of. Back in 1994, LEGO put out the Pizza To Go set as part of the classic town line, and an obsession was born. In the 30 years since then, we've gotten no fewer than 10 sets based around pizzerias or pizza delivery, including the Pizza Planet Truck Rescue from Toy Story and the genuinely adorable Pizza Place released during Bricktober at Toys R Us. In 2002, LEGO even released an updated version of the original Pizza To Go, and this version seems to be an exact copy with the same 135 parts and three minifigures. But it's not just pizza shops. LEGO even put out an actual buildable slice of pizza at one point. In 2012, as a promotion at New York Comic Con, LEGO gave away several copies of Antonio's Pizza Rama, tied into the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. Exactly how many of these sets were produced is unknown, but finding one for sale today is nearly impossible. Estimations on this 57-piece set currently value it around $2,500, which is mostly due to its unique packaging rather than the pieces that actually make up the pizza slice. And while a dozen or so pizza sets might not sound like a true obsession yet, they're just the tip of the iceberg. There are a solid 10 minifigures based solely around pizza, including the Pizza Chef, Possessed Pizza Delivery Man, Pizza Delivery Delivery Scarecrow, and the iconic Pizza Costume Guy from Collectible Minifigures Series 19. On top of all of that, there are at least 75 different LEGO elements that are directly tied to pizza. We've gotten the classic 2x2 pizza box tile in 20 different sets, as well as in a few different versions. There are also multiple round pizza tiles, and even a few different pizza slices for minifigures to enjoy. All of this talk about food has gotten me feeling a little hungry. While I go grab a quick bite, why don't you take a second to tap that like button and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos. Okay, snack time's done. Back to the topic at hand. While most of the obsessions I've mentioned in this video are single pieces that keep popping up, there's another type of fixation that LEGO seems to have, and that's releasing multiple versions of the same set. For example, LEGO has released no fewer than seven different parrots since 2005, and that makes sense as they've gotten better and better each time. Seriously, just compare the most recent exotic parrot to the very first version, and I think you'll agree that an update was a good idea. But at a certain point, more of the same starts to wear out. With animals, there are so many different ways to do them that LEGO can keep releasing parrots from now until the end of time and not necessarily completely repeat themselves, but for something like an iconic spaceship, well, things can get old pretty fast. The Millennium Falcon might be the most famous spaceship from any work of fiction. With that kind of notoriety, it's little wonder that LEGO has released several versions of the vessel. What might be surprising is just how many they've released, though. If you count every major boxed release, polybag, and advent calendar mini build, there have been an astronomical 29 different versions, ranging from special promotional sets, UCS Star Wars sets, tiny advent calendar builds, and even this fun holiday diorama. 
While there's not enough time to go over all 29 of them, there are a few major highlights. Let's start at the beginning with the very first version that we ever got in 2000. This 641 piece build might not have aged as well as its on-screen counterpart, but it was an impressive offering at the time, and a mere taste of what was to come. A few years later, in 2003, we got this great little mini Falcon with just 87 parts, but the real star launched a few years later in 2007. The first UCS Millennium Falcon was a massive hit, with 5,174 pieces and weighing in at just over 20 pounds, or 9 kilograms. This was the largest LEGO set ever released at this point. On the opposite end of the spectrum, we've got this promotional polybag titled Escape the Space Slug, where our favorite ship here is recreated with fewer than 10 pieces. Many other versions have have been small advent calendar builds and three different micro fighters. But I can't talk about this ship without at least mentioning the UCS Millennium Falcon 2nd Edition from 2017. I mean, with a full decade between releases, LEGO really took their time to do this right and added more than 2,000 parts to the original. As of 2024, LEGO certainly isn't done with the iconic vessel and has two new versions this year, the MIDI scale Millennium Falcon and the Dark Falcon. But although a ship like the Millennium Falcon unquestionably deserves this kind of star treatment, there's a another ship that LEGO has a seemingly random obsession with, Darth Maul's Sith Infiltrator. This ship is certainly very stylish, and Darth Maul is one of the coolest Star Wars villains out there, but this ship only appeared in a single movie, Episode 1, and was only on screen for about 30 seconds. Granted, it has appeared in a handful of comics and video games, but it's hardly as recognizable as many other ships from the franchise. Nonetheless, someone over at LEGO must really love it, because we've gotten a total of 10 different versions of this ship. Everything from advent calendar mini-builds, to micro-fighters, to the recent set released in 2024, and even this odd promo set from San Diego Comic-Con in 2012 that came in an aluminum tin. But you see, the most common Star Wars element to be used in LEGO sets has got to be the legendary blaster. There are two different types of this part, the standard and the longer version, and both debuted in 2007. Since then, they've appeared in a total of 261 unique LEGO sets, and all of them have been Star Wars. LEGO really doesn't like putting firearms in their unlicensed themes such as LEGO City, so this isn't terribly surprising. The standard version has been released in black, flat silver, pearl dark gray, and even in white in two different sets, the 2019 Star Wars Advent Calendar, and the Imperial Transport set. However, LEGO is far more obsessed with a different minifigure weapon, the Katana. It's getting ridiculous. Click this video right now to see just how obsessed they are, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more LEGO videos.